If your drawing looks like this, where objects are pointing in all direction along Z axis, where it should be flat, then watch this video and I'll show you two methods of removing this Z axis from your drawing and making your AutoCAD drawing completely flat. These methods will also work for AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT. So with that, let's get started. All right, so for this example, I'll use this very simple drawing. Now, in this drawing, it may look like we don't have any problem, but if you change the perspective, like if I change it to Southwest isometric and even I orbit the drawing, look at this. All these lines are pointing up and down, and that's a problem. We want everything flat on X, Y plane or on the top plane. Let's do that, let's fix it. And I'll fix that using a method which can be used both for AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT. And that method is using move command. So I'll go to move, I'll select it all and press enter. Now I'll click anywhere in the drawing area, maybe approximately here, and I'll type 0, 0, 0. So basically I'm moving this entire drawing on origin. There we are. Now let's zoom extends and here we are. Let's repeat move command again. So I'll go to move, select it all, enter. Again, I'm randomly selecting a point. And once again, I'll move it on 0, 0, 0. Now here's the trick. For this Z axis, I'm going to use positive infinity. So basically, I'll move it all the way to the very top of AutoCAD drawing area. And then I'll move it back again to negative infinity essentially removing all the tiny elevations that we have for different drawing objects. So we don't have anything for infinity here. There is no number for infinity, but we have a close cousin of infinity, which is 1 E 99. 1 E 99 is basically 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 99, which you can write like this. And this is as close as we can write to infinity in AutoCAD. AutoCAD will treat this number as infinity though. So now press enter. There we are. It just moved it to positive infinity. Now let's move it back to negative infinity. So move again, select it all, enter, select a point, maybe this one this time, and then I'll move it on 0, 0, 0, minus 1 E 99, press enter, and there we are. So now this should essentially fix the problem. So let's orbit my drawing, and here we are just orbit and even if you go to this front plane you'll see that it's now exactly on the xy plane even if you zoom in everything is now fixed it may look like from this perspective that something is off but if you zoom in well that's gone so it's basically now on the flat plane now before i share the next method i want to share with you our collection of best autocad tips like this one in an ebook format it's an absolutely free ebook that you can download using the link in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment so with that Let's look at the second method now. Now that's the method which is essentially available for AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT, but there is an easier method as well, which is available only in AutoCAD, not in AutoCAD LT, and it's the Flatten Express tool. Now to show you that, I'll simply close this drawing and I'll open it again so that we have the problem like this. All right, and let's just go to the top plane and I'll go to Express tool, modify and flatten objects. Now, select this thing entirely, press enter, and when it prompts to remove hidden lines, well, don't do that. Simply press enter, it will select no, give it a moment, and it's done. So now it's flat. If you change the view, look at this, everything is on X, Y plane. Nothing is pointing up or down. So this is the easiest method, but unfortunately not available in AutoCAD LT, but you can still use it if you have AutoCAD. So that's how you can remove the Z axis and flatten your AutoCAD drawing. There are also several great tips and tricks that is in our AutoCAD tips ebook. So you can get it for free. Simply click the link in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment to get the ebook. Also let me know which topic you want us to cover in the next video and I'll see you soon in the next one.